How did Ozhan Ur succeed? Hello, I'm Furkan Aden. Can a political discussion program be watched that much? The most watched program of recent years, which makes one ask the question, how was the open mic successful? The success of its moderator Ozhan Ur? Why did young people show so much interest? We can ask more questions about this format. However, before I start the video, I would like to point out that it is completely Furkan Aden's thoughts. Now, I wanted to point out before those who say you found it successful but I didn't find it. Because success is not something that everyone accepts in our geography. Colors and preferences are discussed, but they are right and success. In fact, success should not be different for everyone, but a process that everyone accepts. In other words, just because the man of one group was successful, the other mass should not throw mud. He should be congratulated on his success. Congratulations Ozhan. Let's get to the video. Musician, director, but Ozhan Ur, whom we know more as a YouTuber. Yes, there are those who love and those who do not. However, even those who did not like the last show with an open microphone started to change their minds. Because most of the press members and channels in the country made a political discussion program beyond the channels and it was a success. He already had a program called Mevzler. Sometimes it was a political program for himself, sometimes for his father or guests. Instead of using the phrase on the election, he made a point shot at the subject, and he brought the program called Open Mic to life. It's a format we're not used to. Normally a political leader comes. A member of the press asks a group of questions. In most of them, there are no spectators, although there are biased spectators. However, the subjects are a program where the audience from the opposite side asks questions directly to the guest without being a member of the press, unlike the open microphone. Its moderator is Ozhan Ur. Let's give him his right, he ruled impartially and continues to rule. So what is the magic, the secret of this program? I think the first spell is courage. Without censoring a question, it is possible to ask a question directly to the guest, with respect and tolerance, without a problem like being offended or angry. Well, the answer is satisfactory or not, that's different. Secondly, there are opposing spectators. The leaders mostly participate in the programs of their own neighborhood, they try to get votes to announce their party themselves and their policies by doing PR work to explain themselves to the other neighborhood. If the issues are in open mic, since the audience is opposite, they get results that they would not get as much interaction if they held 10 or even 20 rallies. They try to explain themselves and their parties to the audience, most of whom are Generation Z, and try to answer the questions in their minds. This is where the success of the program comes from. This is where the interest of young people comes from. Without a script, Regardless of the screen or something, the leaders answer the questions that come instantly. Successful program for most undecided voters on election. He will listen to the leaders and maybe vote for whichever interests him. Maybe he didn't like it normally, the audience had other questions in mind, but after watching the program, the whole thought changes after the leader's speech. Whichever way we look at it, it is the most successful political debate of recent times. Even guest leaders have the opportunity to get to know their own electorate better. Are there any downsides to the open mic program? They do not choose the audience, they take the question directly. If they pass it through a filter, at least let them choose according to the quality of the questions. Questions that will satisfy the citizens who could not attend the program and could not attend the program. Because, did anyone ask questions to humiliate the guest, to bring himself forward, look, what did I ask the leader? It happened, if we look at it with the logic of rotten fruit in every fruit box another successful program. Oh, and finally, let me say this. We read from there. Sentences like Ozhan found the money thanks to this program. All the income of the open microphone program will be collected and donated to whichever association comes out in the survey at the end. Is this man doing this program without making money? No. YouTube revenue will only be donated. In addition, even the channel's awareness has increased thanks to the program. It helped reach more audiences. Otherwise, the channel receives advertisements such as product placement, so that the continuity of the program is ensured. We would like to thank Babala TV and Ozhan Ur who made this program at this time. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you haven't. Express your views as comments.